After a very, very, very long weekend, mods are back. Yo, what's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to new mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today we've got 17 mods for you. For all platforms, we have 5 new and 4 updates. At PC and Mac, we have 2 new and 6 updates. Let's check them out. Starting off today with new mods for all platforms, we have the New Holland 8066 from Blue King. This is going to be a new small tractor. You can... <laughs> It looks awesome. I love this thing right here. It's going to have 100 horsepower, so nothing too crazy, but just enough to get stuff around the farm done that you need to do. 200 liters of fuel, which is plenty, and 26 mile per hour. Max speed, which is very, very respectable. Configurations, we have a main color of red. We have blue, black, and we have a matte black as well. We're going to jump back over to this red. Configuration, we have standard and a 250 kilogram front weight. That is your only configuration for the front, do keep that in mind. And then design, we have standard and cabin. And again, that's your only design. However, I think that's per perfectly fine. I love this. I think this looks so good. We're going to be using this on our Let's Play for sure. Next up, we have the West Trailers from the ARM team. I think on console, these are called the Best Trailers, uh, but I do know that they are a Lizard trailer on console, but everything else is going to be exactly the same. So with these, we have two. We have a 10-ton and we have a 12-ton trailer. Let's start off with the 10-ton. We've got rim color of anything you want want you guys know we like to do cloth so let's change that over main color you've got anything you want here as well so you could swap that out if you really want to do keep in mind that the center of the wheels will stay blue no matter what you do configuration if i can get this to come on there we go configuration we have grain body we have silage body back and forth between the two grain body is going to be twelve thousand eight hundred eighty eight your silage body is going to be twenty two thousand one hundred seventy uh liters on those wheel brands we have lizard trellborg michelin Lizard, there's nothing. In Trailer Board, we have the 309s and 404s, as well as the 421s, which are becoming very, very popular. We also have the Twin Radial, which I know you guys like. Michelin, we have the XBIB, we have the HDs, and back and forth between those two. Design without reflectors, with reflectors. Design down here, no fenders. Only back fenders, all fenders, or none. And cover, no and yes. That's at least the 10 ton. What about the 12 ton? Anything different? Well, Looks like rim colors are all the same. Main colors are all the same. Configuration, we have a 15,310 liter grain body or a 27,000 liter silage body. Wheel brands, these are all exactly the same. Designs, you've got your reflectors or not. You also have your uh, fenders, yes or no. And then your cover, yes or no. Next up, you've got the Rebo 6000 TSI from FBT Modding. This bad boy right here is a new auger wagon. As you can see, it is very, very unique. It's really cool. This will hold 6,000 liters of any of your standard auger wagon crops. Uh, it will require around 60 horsepower, though there's not a real power requirement for auger wagons. Wheel setups, we have a standard wheel, and we have a wide tire there as well. Otherwise, that's about it. There's not a whole lot to this. It just looks good. Your next to last new mod for all platforms today is the Lizard SMP 3.0. This is going to hold 10,000 liters of water. It will also hold fuel. It will hold slurry, digestate. Uh, it will also do, what do we say, fuel? Yep, and uh, fertilizer, herbicide, pretty much liquids right through there. Main color, you've got a green, red, blue, and yellow. And then rim colors, you've got basically the same ones with the addition of black. Would have been nice to see any color be able to be used here. Um, maybe in a future update, something like that, we could have that. But otherwise, hey, it is what it is. And your last new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Mini Log Barn. This is going to come in three different versions for you to choose from. You've even got uh, the Barn Mini. You have the Decorative and you have a cell point right here. This cell point is going to be for grass, hay, straw, and silage. So it is a barn at the end of the day, if you want to think about it like that. Otherwise, you're good to go. I will say, one thing I noticed from these is the bells are movable. Uh, however, whenever you load back into the game, they will go bloop, and they will plop themselves right back where they were. But I think it's kind of neat to have dynamic objects with placeables. 
especially with bills. Yeah, it may take up a little extra slots, but eh, who cares? I think it looks cool. Making our way into mod updates for all platforms today. We start with the map Hoggetstead from Vanquish 081. This is going to be version 1.0.2. Added compatibility with these store sales from GTX. New crops, rye and millet has also been adapted for the TMR and pick food production by Shama. Adapted for the placeable factories pack by Shaba. Adapted for the seed factory, you guessed it, by Shaba. Also adapted for the placeable eco green factories, the uh, a placeable factory pellet pack gas station on the main farm is now placeable in a new game save only and they've adjusted the tip collision at the bga and we have an update to the case age 2150 early riser planter from custom modding this is going to be changelog 1.001 they fix turn problems, the wheels rotate, and the smart box option is enabled, and fix the sliding with the track configuration, which I experienced quite a bit. Next to last update for all platforms today is the AGM TM240. This is going to be version 1.0.1. Fix the filling problem and fix the possible problem with many parts of the bulk area being invisible on some consoles. And your last update for all platforms today is the placeable factories pack. This is going to be version 2.0.1. Now you must supply the factories with biodiesel for their operation and They've adjusted the pallet production. Making our way into new mods for PC and Mac players. They've only got two of them, and the first one is the liquid separator for fermentation residues from Zotelzacht. This is a mod that brings liquid separator for fermentation residues into the game. With the separator, you can process your fermentation residues into pellets. These pellets can then be sold at the Agra Z land trade. Construction costs 150 grand, daily costs 500 bucks. Capacity for digestate, you have 5 million liters. And for pellets, you've got 250,000 liters. This mod only works in conjunction with Global Company. And your only other mod that is new for PC and Mac players today, odd way to word it, but it is what it is. Slow player from Royal Modding. With this mod, you move slower while holding objects in your hands. This will keep you in many situations, such as placeable objects and trailers in a narrow place because you have much more accuracy. And if you run, you'll run faster, but not enough to lose the object. So you'll be able to move much slower much more precise and lastly we've got some updates for pc and mac players today starting off with the bonnie rob this is going to be version 1.001 remove the default configuration fix the normal texture rework the ai worker for sensor module which caused errors fix some text and naming issues fix the unloading for fertilizer module and fix the soil sample mini map circle while outside the vehicle and an update to compost t this is going to be version 1.1 Prices for export have been adjusted, and now only sell points that accept wheat, barley, and canola are equipped with compost tea. In the case of the pure specialist dealers, such as Sugar Factories, the original version made pointless deliveries. And an update to Honey Production is going to be version 1.002. Russian translation added, minor bug fixed. And an update to the Large Pellet Warehouse, version 1.003. Russian translation has been added, French translation has been added, and minor bugs have been fixed. Next to last update to Today is going to be Universal Passenger version 1.1.0.1. Fixed an error when using the head tracking, fixed an input binding conflict not allowing farmland selection on the map when using a controller, and added Russian translation. And your last mod today, the vehicle maintenance update for PC and Mac players version 1.002. Fix the FPS problems, fix the dedicated server problems, remove the light from the lamp, description has slightly been adapted, they fixed a bug where the hot key to maintenance did not appear, and fixed a bug where the old condition of the vehicle was not restored. Well guys, that is going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it, get subscribed to Jump if you're new, and join the GoAM fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Do remember that tomorrow I will be out of the office. I'm going to be doing some home inspections on my new house, which is a couple hours away. So I'm not going to be in the office at all. I may try to do a mod video when I get home, but that's going to be a little bit later tomorrow. So do keep that in mind. I'll be it. Hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.